Maybe you can use this look as your inspiration for what you can wear on Christmas or Boxing Day or any other day. So let's get to it. Before I get started, I'm going to give you a chance to subscribe, press the notification button and comment down below. <laughs> it's going to take some time for me to get used to the lingo but I will. So I'm going to start with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I love this. I really like this because it helps my makeup, my eyeshadow last a bit longer and my eyelids sweat so this really helps with that. I'm going to put that on my on my eyelid that I'm gonna blend it you have to work fast with this one because it dries quick so if you don't move fast it's gonna it's gonna set all right next I'm gonna use my P. Louise eyeshadow base the shade is Rumor Fall <laughs> I don't know why saying eyeshadow base reminds me of super base it does. And I'm going to take my Zoeva 233 cream cream brush. I love this brush for applying my primer, my eyeshadow base. It's pretty light, so for that reason, I'm not going to take it all the way. Um, to my eyebrows I'm just gonna keep it on my lid because it doesn't match my skin so I don't want it to show on any bare skin now I'm just gonna blend the edges I'm going to take another fluffy brush. This one is also from Zoeva. It's the 142 concealer brush. And I'm going to use that to blend. My hair is in the way. I'm going to use that to blend the edges. Okay, I'm not going to set that because the eyeshadow is actually supposed to be what sets it. This brush is from Kala and I'm going to use that to put on my first color which will be this one, this one, orange soda. I'm going to use the mirror that's inside here. I'm just going to run that on the crease.
Okay, and next I'm gonna go a bit light, a bit darker with burnt orange. and blend. A shade darker again and I'm gonna do Sienna right there. This one is a bit more brick toned and this one I'm going to bring it higher than where I place the other shade. Also I used the same brush but it doesn't really matter. It still does the job. I'm about to get in right there in my inner corner. I zoomed you guys in closer so you can see better. I need to look at this big mirror and see how it's looking. It's looking good. It's looking good. Okay. I'm going to take a flat brush. This one is a brush from Boutique. It's a concealer brush. This is available at Edgar's. I'll list everything I'm using in the description area. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay setting spray and I'm just gonna spray the brush not a lot just like that and then I'm gonna go into this shade called bronze this one up here it's like a glittery gold color it's really beautiful I think I'm gonna need a bigger mirror for this so and I'm gonna put that on my eyelid I'm going to bring it in the inner corner like that. This is a really beautiful gold shade. I'm going to bring it all the way out, even though I'm going to put another color there, but I still like it to peep through. Do the same thing on this eye. I think I have to spritz that again. It's gonna be dry. I have a scrunch, you know. So I had some eyeshadow fall onto my face, so I'm going to take a cotton pad, my cellar water, and I'm going to remove that before we start the face make. If you guys are looking for my cellar water, which you basically use to take off your makeup, you can either use it as your first step of removing your makeup at the end of the day or whenever you're removing it or you can use it in times like these where you started with your eyeshadow and now you want to clean up. I'm now going to take my brand new primer. I've 
heard a lot of raving reviews about this product and on my birthday in September my sister bought this for me so that's what it looks like beautiful packaging so fancy I'm gonna apply this with a brush this is a brush from a company called Zorea and it's a foundation brush I'm just gonna take some product and Ooh, that smells really good. Wow. It smells so fresh. That's nice. Feels nice too. I've seen a lot of professional makeup artists apply primers and moisturizers with brushes. I really like that. I have oily skin, but I never skip on hydrating my face. Never. Because I don't like when my makeup looks really dry. See how it wears underneath the makeup, but I'm getting the hype. I get the hype. I get it. I get it. All right. Next new product is this. A lot of people use this as an eyeshadow primer, but I'm gonna use it on my smile lines here. There's this other really amazing YouTuber. She does makeup and she uses this to prevent her smile lines from disturbing her makeup. So because obviously I smile, I'm moving my face all day, my makeup kind of right here kind of gets disturbed. All right, now let's move to two very exciting products that I recently bought from another UK-based website that sells makeup and I got some NARS products. I got the foundation. This one is called the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I got it in shade Macau and this is how it looks. It's glass, it's heavy, it's sturdy, and I've also heard a lot of really good reviews about this. And I also got the concealer. Look at that. Beautiful packaging. Really beautiful. A lot of my favorite YouTubers use this foundation, and those that are in the same complexion range as me recommend the shade Macau in the foundation and Amand in the concealer. I have this tray. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put out a few pumps. Maybe I'll do two, one, mm, let's do three. Yeah. And then I'm gonna take a flat top foundation brush and I'm gonna start to apply. I've heard a lot about the coverage, the fact that it's long wearing as the name suggests. Wow. Hmm. I can already see the claims of coverage.
Oh look, it's covering up that MAC paint pot really good. And my neck. I'm not gonna blend all the way down my neck because that's just not something I do. And it's not something I care about. As long as I bring it down here, yeah, I'm good. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. Well, I'll just take two more pumps. Whoa. That coverage is amazing though. I have a scar on my forehead. I don't really care about covering it much. But let's see. Hmm. Where did it go? Where did my scar go? Whoa. That's beautiful. Wow. Usually I rely on concealer to cover up the darkness around my mouth, but that foundation took care of it pretty good. It's really glowy and beautiful. I like that. I mentioned that I have oily skin, but I still prefer to use dewy foundations. Wow. I really like that. I'm just gonna blend a bit more, make sure it's nice and blended and really push it into the skin. I also don't put foundation in my ears, that's just not something I would ever do. But if that's your vibe, of course, feel free to do so. Feel free to do so. Very nice. I really like how this foundation looks, you guys. The coverage is amazing. It's everything that they say it is. I was a bit concerned about the color. I thought it would be a little too olive, which turn, tends to look really green. But, you know, that's a pretty good color. I also heard that it oxidizes a bit, so we'll see how that looks in a few minutes. Can't stop blending it. <laughs> okay, let's move to concealer. I'm gonna put it, it looks almost identical to the shade of the foundation. So I'm definitely going to use a highlight and concealer on top of this. Yeah, it does. It looks pretty similar to the shade of the foundation. It applies really nice. Really smooth. I'm gonna let that sit for just to, maybe 30 seconds and I'm gonna blend it and in the meantime I'm gonna go with my beauty sponge. I forgot to mention that the brush I'm using is from Kala. It's actually this, this brush set that K Arms was showing and everybody went and, go and bought it and I was one of those everybody's. So I'm going to use my beauty blender, this is from a company called Beauty Bakery, it's 
also available at Cult Beauty. And let's plan. Blend really, really nice. And the color is just a seamless match for the foundation. I really like that. So that's how the foundation and the concealer looks, the full powder, and anything else. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. I like how that looks. Okay, I mentioned that I'm definitely going to need a highlighting concealer. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to place that right on top of that concealer to give my under eye a bit of brightness. I'm not going to do too much. Now I'm going to put some right here and on the sides of my I'm going to take my foundation brush again and I'm going to blend my forehead. I'm going to take that sponge again and blend that highlighting concealer. I don't want that to start creasing, so I'm gonna apply some powder and I'm gonna use the benign luxury banana powder. I'm not going to bake today, I'm just going to blend that powder in and do the same thing on my other side. So I'm going to move on to contour and I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal and this one is, the, is in dark cocoa. I'm also going to take my tray and I'm going to put a little bit out. I don't like to put it directly on my face because sometimes it's not easy to control that brush. So I just put that much. I'm going to take this brush from the body shop and I'm just going to go in I'm going to contour underneath my cheekbones and my forehead 
Go ahead. Let me see. I'm first gonna place the product. I don't do a lot because the shade is a little bit too dark. So I'm afraid if I do too much, it's gonna be too much. And then I'm gonna start to blend that. I'm gonna set the rest of my makeup with part of a MAC. And go. I have it in the shade dark and I'm going to take brush from BH Cosmetics from that set I was talking about before and I'm just going to set my face. I'm gonna use two bronzers. This one from Inglot, and I'm gonna use this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. From Anastasia Beverly Hills. That's how the Inglot one looks, and that's the ABH. I'm gonna start with this one. I'll take this brush from Clix, a dual fiber brush, I'll take some product and round my cheeks and my forehead. And then I'm going to take the darker one and put a bit, put a bit in this. I'm going to take them off that benign powder and I'm going to make my jawline like that. It's just to emphasize the contour. Now I'm just going to take some in the middle of my nose, on the bridge of my nose like that, and a little bit on my forehead. While that bakes and I look greasy, we're gonna finish the eyeshadow. And I'm gonna take this palette, it's called the Modern Matte Eyeshadow Palette. You can see my favorite colors, this one. but I love this palette. And I'm gonna take I'm actually gonna take this brush that came from the ABH Soft Glam Palette. I'm gonna go in with this green and I'm gonna apply that all over my lower lash line. There. 
Oh. It's very pigmented. I haven't used the shade in a while, so I forgot. That's really nice. So I'm just gonna blend that. And I'm going to take the lighter green, this one, and I'm going to blend it on top of that first one. Whoa. I'm going to take another brush, it's equal to a tiny brush. I'm gonna use that to blend that even more. With that same brush, I'm gonna go to burnt orange. Oh yeah, no, that's rustic. This is burnt orange. I'm gonna go in with that. And I'm gonna put the a bit lower. Not on top of the green, just a little bit lower than where the green is. Just to make it a little less harsh. that same little brush I'm gonna take that gold that we used on the lid and I'm gonna put more of it on the inner corner there and I'll bring it into the lower lash a little bit like that nice and glittery nice and glittery I'm gonna take a clean brush this one is from Boutique. It's a powder brush. Oh, it's a bronzer brush, actually. And I'm gonna take off that big, that baking powder. My nose. Now I'm going to take my Urban Decay D Slick setting spray and I'm going to set the face. I love to use a lot of setting spray. Mascara, I'm gonna use another new product. This comes in a little plastic sleeve. That's what the wand looks like. I'm not wearing eyelashes today, I'm just gonna end it on the mascara. It's more volumizing than it is in that thing. Lastly, I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna use this LA Girl lip liner.
I'm gonna feel my lips in a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my NYX lip pencil. This is a suede matte lip liner in London. And then I'm going to top that off with this beautiful Pat McGrath lip gloss. It looks like a lipstick, but it's actually a gloss. It's beautiful. It's called a Sheer Color Balm. This is also a gift for my sister. Oh, I like that. Very classy. I like that. I'm gonna blot my lips a bit. The tissue. And I'm gonna put a little bit more on. That's kind of my method. Oh, I really like that. Beautiful. So I'm gonna go and fix my hair and then I'll show you the final look. So this is the final look guys. I really like how everything turned out. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can see more of my videos. And my hair was done by my friend Ginelwe. She's a hairstylist and she's also a YouTuber. So I will leave her details in my description box. And I love these braids. I love this makeup. And what else? My jewelry, my chain, earrings are from Lavisa. And these studs are from a client. So I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Moisturizing my hands. What did I just say? Hands like that. Sorry. Shallot rice. My rings on. Thanks. Thanks, like. We're good? Whoa. Okay. Hi, guys. Now I have to clean up my desk.